Hi everyone, it's Sarah. It is Friday, October 11th, and this is this week's edition of the Scary Fan Party Report. This was a busy week in the scary verse. Lots of stuff going on. On Friday, MXDZ announced they were in Texas. Everybody was happy to hear that. And of course, the big news of the week, what was coming out on October 4th? It was the new single, Diamonds, which fans are seeming to rally around. It's a little alternative, but it is an amazing song. All of the fans seem excited about this one, not just some of them. And he also announced that the video would be out on the 10th. So we're all looking forward to that. On Friday, he started out his day at the appearance at ACL Radio. Everyone loved it. I did record it. However, it was great. His voice sounded great as always. Lately, he just can't miss with his voice. And apparently, fans were waiting by the dozens for him to arrive. Later that day, we found out also who was opening for Scary Pool Party. Um, we found out that Morgan is opening at Berkeley, Sacramento, Portland, Seattle, and Salt Lake. Sucre is opening at Aspen, Boulder, Kansas City, Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Baltimore, Charlottesville, Raleigh, Charlotte, Atlanta, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, New Orleans, Houston, Austin, Dallas, and San Diego. His longtime friend Twin Shadow is opening for him in LA. We also found out that Violet Skies is opening for him on the 9th in London and Toby Johnson is opening for him on the 10th. So some really exciting news around the scary verse this week. He was out in force this week. In between all of this, he managed to do a backstage performance of 10 years for ACL and a backstage performance for KUTX of Austin. He's a busy guy on Friday. Um, he didn't post a lot, but he made up for that later. There, were, As always, there were some great pictures from the day, including one of him and DK backstage which the fans loved. He received a lot of love on that one. From what we heard, the fans were numerous at ACL, and he made a lot of new fans this week. Needless to say, ACL loved him as well. They have been posting about him all week, and we couldn't be more happy. Following ACL, there was, of course, a post to ACL thanking them for letting him perform there. He generally does this with every festival he's been at, so that was not a shock. He did post some really good backstage pictures, which everybody seemed to love. He posted a lot this week, and I can't possibly cover them all. However, there was a particularly cute one with a cat that seemed to recognize him playing. I don't know if it was his cat, but it was on his Instagram, so I'm not sure how that was. On the 9th, he posted a picture of him and Travis seemingly getting ready to go on the road. There was lots of cases of equipment. They were getting ready for the fall tour. I'm sure everybody was super excited about that. On the 10th, of course, the video for Diamonds came out in a skate shop. It was very intense, had a 90s vibe to it. It was super cool. I love seeing him do different sides of himself. He posted a lot of pictures from the um, background in his profile, as well as some background footage that he posted on YouTube. I'm not sharing the video or any of the song just because I don't want to get pulled for a copyright violation. However, fans seem to love the song and the video all over. I didn't hear anything negative about it. I did get some feedback on the fact that his voice was buried in the song, but we know he does this. He uses his voice as a tool sometimes, and I just don't think it was a primary purpose for the song Diamonds. I thought his voice sounded great, and if you haven't heard it in headphones, I highly encourage you to put your headphones on and listen to the song because it sounds totally different 
in the headphones. In fact, I was kind of amazed because people say that and I'm like, okay, whatever. But then I listened to it and I was like, oh my God, this is so much better in headphones. So I encourage you to do that. Earlier in the week, not much earlier in the week, but earlier in the week, he announced another show in Hollywood at the Hotel Cafe. I obviously was not able to stay up and watch this. However, there was some footage posted on Scary Pool Party Worldwide as usual, and I heard that it was a very intimate crowd, which I know he loves. It is estimated that there was about 100 people in attendance, so good turnout for just announcing it the day before, I think. I know a lot of people probably had to work and couldn't take off the time, but as always, he was amazing in concert. That's always good to hear. He also did surprise fans that night and posted an IG Live from the concert, which I know is really, really appreciated. And other big news, this week officially on his website, he released merch, and we did find out that he does have it available at the concert. So I love the um, beautiful and brutal shirt. I ordered that one. Uh, they're not shipping until October 31st, according to the website, which I'm not sure what that's about, but whatever. I mean, I'm willing to wait. It's okay. So check out scarypoolparty.com to order his official merch for the tour. In other news, his most famous video, The Audition, hit 15 million views on YouTube this week. That was amazing and exciting. We're all excited about that. And this week begins the fall tour. Many of the dates are sold out. It's very exciting. I happened to listen to tonight a version of 10 years from the Berkeley show, which I just adore. 10 Years is one of my all-time favorite songs. I really love it. It is probably in the top three for me, so it really is one of my favorite songs. I know I say that a lot joking around, but it really is. So we're all looking forward to a sold-out fall tour, seeing him in concert. He seems to be balancing the alternative music with acoustic music. Super excited about that. I know all the fans are enjoying themselves around the verse. We've heard it. We're all excited about it. At it so here we are we're at the kickoff finally as far as his social media numbers this week he was still down on Instagram to 724,000 that's a thousand less than he was down last week though last week he was down 3,000 so that's good Twitter was down a hundred to 67,500 Facebook was up about a hundred as far as YouTube it was up a thousand people to 110,000 people I can't see the exact numbers for YouTube which is beyond an Annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, the biggest gainer on YouTube this week was definitely Cholo Love with 5,000 and Tonight with 7,000. Out Loud was close behind that with 4,000. So everything moving up. Diamonds has an impressive 18,000. And this is only after one day. It came out on the 9th. I think it was supposed to come out on the 10th, but it came out on the 9th. So in two days, it's gotten 18,000 views, which puts every other video to shame as far as how fast they've risen. I think everybody really loves the song. On Spotify, he was down about 300 followers this week. He did have some modest gains, not as much as last week. However, he was up well on every one of the songs. Everything does really well on Spotify. Out Loud was up the most with about 65,000 streams. So I would say that, you know, if you can go to Spotify, he did make an announcement about how his management team pays attention to Spotify. So if you can listen in there please try to stream his music if you can so that he gets that number up a little he was at like 190 and now he's down to 133 so if we can get that number up we need to that is one way you can help him this week also on SoundCloud he was up about 20 he goes up a little bit everything stayed pretty much the same on this channel a big difference is Ella was up 2,000 this week so that was impressive Usually it's up about a thousand. Everything overall though stayed the same. Diamonds was up about 425. So he's making progress on SoundCloud, but it is slower than the other channels. It's still one of my favorite channels though. Take a listen if you can. And that's it 
it for the Scary Fan Party Report this week. I just want to say um, a shout out to everybody that is in the Scaryverse and supporting him. I think that it was a really good week for Scary Pool Party fans. A lot of stuff going on. I anticipate that is going to happen throughout the fall. We added a live stream on Scary Pool Party Worldwide called the Scary After Party to discuss the weekly concerts and kind of just get a vibe from everybody about how they felt about it. So make sure you tune into that. Also, we have a podcast recording. Our podcast got delayed a little bit. We are not recording that until this week. We are very happy to have Corey on our show. And we have a very special guest coming up Tuesday, which I know everybody is going to be excited about. I don't know if you know who it is, but I will announce it closer to the radio show day, maybe even on the air. I just want to make sure that it all works out. You guys will be excited. It's not Scary Pool Party, by the way, just so you know. But that's it, everybody. This is Sarah, and I am really excited for what's coming up this fall. I think everybody should like do good things for people, do some good in the world. That is my thing. And just let's just love each other a little more. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.